What is going on, guys? This is the Inside the Boot Podcast, episode number 11. And today we're going to be talking about Anthony Volpe and a little bit of the Yankees as well. As we talk about Anthony Volpe to start about, he's been a huge part to this spring training and has been the main story of this team, really, uh, because, you know, how much he's been producing at the plate. And even defensively, you know, he's been a really solid shortstop. Uh, you know, making plays, Jidu like plays, but you know, Anthony Volpe is a guy that I fully expect to be on the opening day roster uh, against the San Francisco Giants, and I don't really think that's really too hard to ask. I think you know, Volpe is, has proved himself that he deserves to be on his team, and you know, even Aaron Judge said it. You know, he said, "If you're the best player, it should a matter of your age," and that's the captain speaking. And you know what the captain says. Uh, goes around, comes around, and I think, you know, adding Anthony Volpe could be huge for this team. You know, we've seen Aaron Boone uh, use him as the leadoff hitter and a few other spots, but I wouldn't mind Anthony Volpe leading off and seeing maybe DJ LeMayu in, you know, the five or six spot uh, instead, and I think, you know, Anthony Volpe brings a lot to the table. You know, I think his defense is, is elite. I think he's got a great arm. And he's got a great glove as well. And also for the, you know, for the batting, he's a solid hitter. You know, he had a two-run shot today against the Twins uh, as I'm recording this video. And, you know, I look at that Twins game, and something that really, uh, you know, I look at is how, you know, batters, you know, whether they strike out their previous bat, you know, how they respond. And, you know, Anthony Volpe, you know, strikes out on a slider, you know, his uh, at-bat before. And, you know, on the slider. And then, you know, next uh, next at bat, you know, first pitch he sees the slider. And he hits a two-run shot. Um, and, you know, that's what Anthony Volpe has been doing all spring training long is putting the ball in play. You know, he's got a few extra base hits. He's got three bombs in spring training currently. Um, and, you know, that's what you need out of Anthony Volpe. I mean, his numbers in spring training, he's got a 277 average. 438 on base percentage, a 967 OPS, and 13 hits, obviously. Uh, three of those being home runs. And, you know, we know this guy can hit, and he's doing it at an elite level. And that's what the Yankees need. They need a player that could just put the ball in play. I think the problem with this Yankees team, playoffs and in regular season, as they've been really going for the home run, Instead of just putting the ball in play. And that's why they've lost, you know, a lot of their games and a lot of series as well in the playoffs. I mean, you know, the Astros, they're a team that just puts the ball in play. And, you know, eventually they'll hit a home run, whether it's Alvarez, Bregman, uh, Jeremy Pena, whatever. But I think this Yankee team is really, you know, it's powerful. You know, you could definitely get a home run out of Stanton or Judge. But I think they need, honestly, more players like DJ LeMayu. And, you know, when DJ was healthy, he would put the ball in play and get a ton of RBIs. I mean, 2019 DJ LeMayu was that guy. And, I mean, even 2020 DJ LeMayu uh, was solid as well. But, you know, also, you know, they need DJ LeMayu healthy um, for sure. Because when he's in the lineup, he's very good. You know, he puts the ball in play and he'll get a few RBIs as well. And, you know, we also look at, you know, Anthony Volpe um, minor league stats. And this is impressive as well. In 275 games played, he's got 77 doubles, 50 home runs. He's batting six, uh, 262 average. And he's got a 376 on base percentage. So, I mean, my question to the Yankees front office is how honestly can you, you know, send this guy down? Um, you know, with how he's been playing in spring training. Because IKF is not going to be your, uh, you know, future shortstop. You know, they signed him only to a one-year deal. And who knows if he's even going to be on the team opening day because, you know, with how Volpe's been playing, you know, IKF could really be on his way out. You know, we've seen that the Dodgers were interested in him a bit since Gavin Lux uh, got injured in spring training, which is a huge blow for them. Uh, but IKF is IKF. I mean, there's really nothing to put it. He's not a home run guy. And, you know, when I saw him at first, I thought he was going to be, you know, like a solid, you know, defensive 
uh, player, but he's not even that good defensively. Um, you know, he makes a lot of errors and a lot of poor plays at shortstop. So, I mean, if they can, honestly, I'm all for the Volpe, Volpe train. You know, that's what I'm going to be keep saying. They need Anthony Volpe up in this lineup going forward, and I think he's MLB ready. I think, you know, with Dominguez, he's not there yet, and also, you know, they have a loaded outfield already. But I think Volpe is a guy that could outplay I- IKF and probably take the the position over Peraza. And, you know, it's really interesting going forward is, like, you have a guy like Peraza who's also really good. What is the future with Glaber Torres uh, with the Yankees? Because, I mean, a few seasons ago, I believe he had 38 home runs. And then he's kind of, you know, shaken up a bit. Um, I think he had a few injuries down the road. But, you know, sometimes this guy is just not the Glaber Torres we see. And then there's sometimes this is the Glaber Day we always love. You know, Glaber Day is definitely something that John Sterling loves to say on his home run calls, but you know, I don't know with Glaber Torres. I don't know what the future. Uh, you know, they had a deal set with him uh, for Pablo Lopez and they said no, they're going to keep Glaber Torres and then Pablo Lopez ends up going somewhere else. I believe he went to Minnesota, by the way. So, it'll be really interesting to see this opening day roster and with injuries, too. You know, you got Bader with an oblique injury. Um, and, you know, even the starting pitching with Carlos Rodon out for a bit. So, it'll be really interesting to see Garrett Cole, you know, lead the way. And, I mean, that's what he's paid to do. You know, I thought he had a pretty good start. Um, I, th- I thought he's had some pretty good starts, you know, his, in his spring training. That's what I have to say about him. And, I mean, even with Anthony Volpe, what's the worst that can happen? You have to send him down? I mean, that's the worst thing that could happen that he just, you know... He stinks to bed, and then you have to send him down and see what he could do in, in AAA. That's the like the worst case scenario, or really the worst case scenario is Anthony Volpe goes down with a major injury, which I hope that doesn't happen because I want to see this guy play. But you know, Aaron Judge has said it that he he is really hoping that Anthony Volpe is in pinstripes. I think Aaron Boone has stated that he's he's ready and. It's really coming down to how Steinbrenner and Brian Cashman, if they think Anthony Volpe is going to be their guy on opening day. Because this guy is really showing you everything that you wanted to see out of Volpe. I mean, I don't really know what more this kid can do to really solidify himself uh, at shortstop opening day. I mean, he's he's done everything. There's really nothing I've hated out of Anthony Volpe. He's hitting great. He's batting two seventy seven. He's even hitting a few home runs, and he's just putting the ball in play. You know, I mean, he's gotten a bunch of doubles, a bunch of hard-hit balls, and I think, you know, he's been doing a really good job. And also, I mean, even in uh, spring, uh, not spring training, uh, minor leagues, he's stealing 89 bases. You know, he's got five stolen bases right now in spring training. And I've said this before, if they can get Anthony Volpe stealing bags... And then having Aaron Judge come up and drive him in. That's going to be runs galore. Because we know Aaron Judge can drive Anthony Volpe in. And Volpe has a ton of speed on the base path. So, so I really think I really think if Volpe is playing uh, with the Yankees come opening day. I would honestly expect him leading off. Or have DJ lead off opening day. Have Volpe in maybe like the five spotters and see how that goes. But I don't know. I would like to see Volpe lead off. I think he's a really good player. And I think he brings a lot to the table with this Yankees squad. And, you know, the Yankees have been always known for, you know, spending the big money, big bucks on, you know, high-end free free agents. But, you know, it, it'll, it'll be interesting to see how the Yankees develop, you know, Volpe and Dominguez. Because these two guys, I think, could really, you know, up your chances of, getting to the World Series, which you haven't done since 2009. You know, it's been a, a struggle for the Yanks. They have not been able to get over the hump. They've not been able to get over the Astros. You even had the Red Sox beat you in the wild card. Just a lot has gone wrong for this team. 
And I'm not really blaming it all on Aaron Boone. I think I would rather blame it on Brian Cashman. And I say that because I don't think Brian Cashman has gotten the guys that are great that are great players, like great players. I I think he's go- he's brought in some mediocre players. But I think he's definitely hit on some players as well. I think he hit on the Bader trade. We knew Montgomery wasn't going to pitch for us in the in the uh, playoffs, and getting Harrison Bader looked like a win to me. I mean, he was one of one of, if not your best player in the in the postseason. Um, and Rizzo had a good uh, uh, postseason as well, which you traded him for. So I think he's definitely hit on some trades, but I think you know he decided to go a different route with Machado and Harper, and look how they've progressed um and listen i love stanton too i love seeing stanton produce but i obviously would rather have harper over over uh giancarlo stanton but it would be really interesting to see what uh giancarlo stanton does this year because you know i feel like he had a quiet a quietly 31 home runs last year because stanton's a good player when healthy you know this is a guy who could put the ball in play you know, hit for, uh, hit for home runs, hit for power. This guy smokes the baseball, um, and I think he's still the leader uh, in Statcast of hardest hit ball uh, in the MLB. I mean, the guy just rakes uh, with hitting the ball hard. And also, the shift would be interesting how some of these Yankees develop. You know, I think the shift could benefit a lot of players, and maybe guys like Anthony Rizzo as well. But Anthony Rizzo has been solid for the Yanks, I have to say. And I think, you know, with Anthony Rizzo, he's another guy who can really benefit from that short porch. You know, it's not a... Yankee Stadium, in my opinion, is was made for lefties. I think lefties can just rake and hit 30 bombs a year uh, just because of that short porch. And, you know, you even see guys that you play against, uh, you know, rake at Yankee Stadium. And a guy like Rafael Devers. You know, he's had Cole's number uh, for a couple years now. And I th- I think, you know, Devers really benefits from that short porch. I mean, he's got a lot of power, but it'll be interesting how this AL East unfolds as well. Because, you know, you got a lot, you know, I feel like the AL East is kind of, you know, a little bit unpredictable. Because you never know what teams are going to get injured, one team's going to get hot early. Uh, but it'll be interesting, but... I fully expected this Yankee team to win the AL East. I don't think there should be any excuse to that or anything regarding winning the AL East. I think you're better than the Rays, you're better than the Orioles, you're better than the Red Sox. And I think it really just comes down to the Jays and and Yanks. But to wrap this up, I mean, this is it. You know, it's really in their hands, in the Yankees' front office hands, on what to do with Anthony Volpe. Whether you send him down or you see him uh, in the major leagues and see what, you know, he can do. But nonetheless, this has been episode number 11 of Breaking Down the Yankees and also the Anthony Volpe hype. This has been your host, Vin. And as always, let's go Yanks. See ya.